Play of the week candidate number two. Another appearance from Abu Sama. The Rams running back slivers through the defense and scores. This is not an easy run, but he makes it look so easy. He's a special, special talent. Well, two of the top teams in Class 3A clash in our game of the week last Friday. ADM being a team on the rise in Harlan, a team with a championship tradition. Let's take a look at how that all played out. But one thing that I read all week and heard all week is their speed, their speed, their speed, their speed, their speed, all right? Come out and hit them in the mouth, right? I promise you right now, the speech they're getting over there is this is a track team, we're gonna take it to them. At the start of the year, we gave all you guys a chain link, right? Okay, and we've, we've stuck together, right? We're one, one unit, okay? Tonight, everybody in, no weak link. But all you are is one link. Do your job to the best of your ability. Here we go. Every rep, snap to echo of the whistle. Make a statement. Let's freaking go tonight. Let's go. Hugs on three. One, two, three, hugs. Got to play ball. 48 minutes. Do it justice, play it hard, play it fast, play for each other. That's what it's all about, all right, man? You gotta want it, man. You gotta want it. It's your time to go take it. Guys, there's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears that goes into everything in here. Guys in here have laid it on the line. This is your opportunity. This is your time to make a statement on the field. 48 minutes. This is your opportunity, man. Go have fun. Hit him in the mouth every play. Let's go. Ready? <laughs> Come on, Rick. Let's go. Four wide for the Cyclones on third down. Casper Bauer fires down the sideline. Hits his man Sears in stride, and it's a touchdown! Right on the money by Casper Bauer. Pump fakes, fires, left sideline, got a man wide open. It's Hall. Just about an identical touchdown pass as the first one. This time it's to Hall. Let's go, baby! Woo! Woo! Had a baby. From the right hash, they have. Uh, trips right down the middle. He's got his man wide open. That's Benetti. Big game for the Tigers. Their first big play of the game. What do we got for second and long here? Can I throw a bubble to Cade? Laura across the middle to Benetti on a greatly set up screen. Big yardage for Benetti. Another first down. Dahl bounces off tacklers up the middle, kicks it outside. Looking for the pylon, down to the goal line and in. From 12 yards out, Brevin Dahl up the middle, bounces off outside and outruns everybody to the pylon for the touchdown. Casper Bauer, pump fakes, sets, fires across the middle, right in stride to Sears, and he's off to the races. Past Morse and the rest of the Tigers' defense, and he's in the end zone. Casper Bauer looking left, firing left across the middle. He's got Sears in stride. Here they go again. Sears knows where the end zone is. That's his home tonight. Casper Bauer, quick pass left side to Hall. Nice footwork and speed down the sidelines. 27 yard touchdown catch by Hall from Casper Bauer. All wide to the right. Oh, the give to Schmitz. He bobbles it, but he regroups. And he's still got it, and he dives forward into the end zone. Six-yard touchdown plunge by Noah 
Smith. Oh. Hey, make sure we get that pumpkin. The clock will run out on this one, and Harlan defends their home turf quite easily with a 42-7 victory over ADM tonight. Good luck, guys. Hey, good luck to you, man. Good luck to you, guys. Good luck, man. Good luck. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Well, let's head over to Adel. ADM trying to bounce back from that loss, hosting Knoxville tonight. The Tigers are the first to score, though. Aiden Flora with the pass to Cade Morse. Morse runs it for a 15-yard touchdown with the extra point. ADM goes up by seven, and they would keep that momentum up through the first half. Flora this time handing it off to Brevin Dole. Knoxville just no match for the Tiger offense here. Dole gets a clear path, and he's in for ADM's second touchdown. But you'd see more of him pretty soon. It's going to be Dole again. The Panthers just they. Can't catch him. He's untouchable for over 30 yards. He gets the Tigers ahead by 21 at the end of the quarter. We'll move to the second, though. It's going to be Aiden Flora taking this one himself. Knoxville tries to get him down to no avail, and that kick will be good to put ADM up 28 to zero. They win this one big over Knoxville, 56 to three. Well, the team who beat them pretty good last week was Harlan taking on Creston tonight. Harlan up big in the fourth. They give it to the fullback. William Kinkle, he mashes his way through the pile. He's finally stopped inside the five. And they give it right back to him, of course, because he's going to finish the job. That'll make it 56 to 12 after the extra point. The Cyclones just keep rolling. They get the statement win over Creston, 56 to 12. North Mahaska at Madrid. And we start with the Madrid fans. And Madrid passes it to Nash Ramirez, and he goes in for their first touchdown. Now North Mahaska with the ball and they complete the pass to P.J. Stout. He goes in just short of the end zone. Now with the ball back, Madrin goes in for the score and it's it's a good day for them. Now Lucas Nunavokin fumbles the ball and Chase Davis picks it up for Madrid and then they punch it in for the touchdown on the sweep to Aiden Scholey. Madrid wins 49 to eight, and a statement win. Well, still to come here on Friday Night Blitz, we'll take you over to Lincoln for their matchup with Ames. Plus, find out who earned the title of this week's Fan of the Game.